Uh, hey, Marvin, do you want a bandage for that? Like, we can help you out with that. No? All right, cool. He's just going to come inside. It'll be fine. Cool. It'll be fine. Just put a little pressure on it. It'll be fine. So, when we first, when we, when I first played this, uh, they basically took the exact same thing they did with Seb was, here's a knife. Here's the thing that you may use for the knife. Here's the exact same thing for Resident <laughs> Evil 7. Also, no matter what it is you do, your, your hitbox is way too big. Uh, so yeah, like a little bit of puzzles I'll need help on, so I'm... Like, I got, I, I got the speedrunning thing once, and that's all I needed to do is get it once. We can piece it together. I'm sure you can. Uh, that's the radio. And the guy who has, uh, been no, licked. No lower jaw. He has been licked. His head passed through the hair. Oh, fuck. He has been thoroughly, uh... Oh, there's his lower jaw. Yeah, it's, it's, it's huh? still there. What? Oh. Hey, buddy. You are right? You okay? Yeah, he's fine. Yeah, he's fine. Oh yeah, uh, that's for the boarding up the doors. God, I completely forgot about that. Glass door's broken. Uh, record of events. Return the station to a temporary shelter to the massive sudden outbreak. All police personnel were instructed to make the safety of the citizens their top priorities. We try to accommodate as many of them as possible. That's a lie. One of the refugees. Refugees. I don't think. Oh, this, I don't oh think no. That, I don't think that's the right terminology for that. Um, one officer injured the other. As a person in question was quickly restrained. We believe this is simply a case of someone snapping under intense stress. Yeah, I don't think going to eat someone is a uh, intense stress. A mob attacked the station today, resulting in a number of casualties. A few survivors were able to make it safely behind the emergency shutters, but surrounded as we are, it'll be hard for us to escape this place. We're not sure if any fix our, we can fix any of our comm equipment, so we remain cut off from the outside world. So they're clashing, look at their clash. It's like someone, too, it's like some the guy pulled out a fucking sword and like started like, like... <laughs> Two gangs of zombies just coming at each other's eyes. Uh, when you're a shark, you're a shark for life. Uh, there's only bullets here. There's the chain on that door. Here's the map. So, like, the reason why I was so hyped for this thing is because they tried to keep it so... Like, they they basically did... Oh, so, oh so, okay, so if you don't ever touch him, he doesn't ever move. He will stay there forever. No. Huh. Um, is that just like the first, uh, the one for, for, for GameCube? They tried to keep it so close to the original. While kind of doing this, like... So like things similar enough to where like anyone who knows the game can still understand it. Hmm. Oh, that's yeah, that's, that's the buttons. How you doing? And his buddy. Oh, I forgot about the uh, so this so the reason why this game can be hard at times is that um, is a thing called adaptive difficulty. To where uh, it checks how accurate you are and how much ammo you have left. And it'll give the zombies more health or less health, depending on that. That's why the game can be considered hard, because the game is actively, like, fighting back at you. So, like, there are times where, like, if you have, like, good accuracy and, like, a lot of um, resources left... Mm -hmm. Zombies will take, like, 10 to 15 bullets t t to kill. Or, if you have, like, nothing in your clip... Uh, I'll board up this one, because we come here m m multiple times. Hey, fucker. Um, so... Leon <laughs> just slaps that shit onto the window. <laughs> I have platinum in the game, so I'm going. To, so, you, so you guys are going to be seeing these things. 
I will choose not to use them. But I will I will use this one though. Put on the infinite knife. Yeah. That one I think's okay. Uh boop. But um the <clears throat> the active difficulty of this game is um it takes all those into account and adjusts everything accordingly. So what you would do is you would only have your pistol and nothing else. Like, no extra bullets in, in, in the inventory. Hmm. So so the game won't um, ca calculate that if, that, if that makes sense. Yeah, so by dumping out all your inventory into the box, you basically don't have to worry about the zombies having a whole lot of health. A whole lot more health than usual. Uh... There we go. Better. Uh, I think this one is CAP. Oh look, a person in there! Uh, I think this one's CAP. Yep. <laughs> there's like there's like a note somewhere that. that <laughs> Cody, you ain't got no shotgun. <laughs> not yet. Yeah, there's like, oh, look, it's the... Okay, so the portable safe is actually, like, something that speedrunners fucking despise. Because there's no set way to, like, handle it. So, like, no, no matter what you do with this, the buttons are randomized. Oh, Jesus Christ. Three hours later. Fucking finally, Christ. But yeah, um... Whenever this comes up in speedrunning, they will either just avoid it entirely, and they'll just not get the shotgun, and not get the stuff that's inside of it, or that's inside of the lockers, mm. and they'll just like, no, you know what, fuck this. It's just not worth the amount of time you lose. Uh... This one starts with an S. No. Oh, hmm. M A G? No. Don't remember that one. Uh, spade key. Uh, nothing else in here. Also, another remnant of Resident Evil. Because when you come up uh, to see this initially, you see, like, the shadow. Oh, yeah. Or seven, sorry, not Resident Evil as a whole. I mean, seven. <sighs> There's gonna be a liquor out there. What in the? Cody, you're, Cody, you're killing the mood. Uh, There's also liquor in here, too. I don't think there's anything over here. This one's not like this one. No. Yeah, another one. Uh, we'll come back for all this other stuff, like the gunpowder on the boards, because we don't actually need need to be here yet. Uh, except for the pack. Yeah, but isn't that what causes the actual uh, liquors to come down? No, uh, you... Oh, getting, getting the emblem from the statue. Uh, it, right. It's actually the explosion causes the liquors. Hmm. Some guy scribblings. Damn those corporate assholes, they cut me off. After all I've done for them, if that's how it's gonna be, so be it. I'm gonna have a little fun of my own as the world goes to shit. I boarded all those filthy pigs up in a steel pen and set some C4. All I gotta do is detonate it, it's sayonara, suckers. But it's no fun if it's over too soon, so maybe I'll give that one raving loon something to really squeal about. Yeah, maybe I'll give him a little toy and tell him, kill the guy next to you and I'll spare the others. I wonder what it'll do. You yell about justice and pride, but how many times do you get, did you go against me, your own superior? Yeah, you're such a good cop, so good you had to die. Man, this is man, is this fun? I need some music for this. Who the fuck writes like this to themselves? <laughs> Who legitimately writes "Sayonara, suckers"? Well, this is like 1998. I mean, I guess that's one way to look at it. Okay, now we get over here, and Mario's like, Leon, we need you. Uh, uh, something. Leon, it's Marvin. I need you back here. Are you okay, Marvin? Are you okay? Yeah, well, you know. Copy that. I'll be 
be right there. So there's a glitch here to where if you get that person to eat you up on the stairs, it'll fucking send you through the stairs, and it'll just walk through the entire game. Very good. <laughs> Uh, I think it's this guy that you don't you don't fuck, fuck with. He doesn't like ever move. But he's, he's, he's just having 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 a good time. Oh, there we go. Oh. Is he? He's nice. He's a busy man. So like, I know, I know Irons was like, like this place used to be like a museum before anything else. So like, I know like this is, okay, I was going to watch for him. Also, there's no blood on that laptop, even though Marvin's hands are like soaked with it. <laughs> hey look, it's your girlfriend. I knew she'd make it. Also, no, no, no camera system, yeah. even for 1990 fucking eight. It's never going to be this clear or playing at that high of a frame rate. You saw it. I'm on it. Thanks, okay, Marvin. Lieutenant. Yeah, that'll be fine. I mean, all things considered, Marvin lasted a lot longer than the guy at the than the guy at the gas station. Well, we don't know how long they've been there, though. What, the guy at the gas station or Marvin? Uh, the guy at the gas station. I mean, considering he was bitten in the neck... Yeah, that'd be fine. I would assume it wasn't all that long since you caught him he was still able to point you in the direction. <laughs> yeah, that's always been kind of funny, because, like, um... So, that's one of the funniest things about the Resident Evil timeline, and I say the funniest if only because, like, when you really think about it, like, what really happened? So, like, evidently, um, this entirely... Hey, look at Marvin. Officer of the Month. Um, is that they say all this happened within a span of, like, a, like a week or... Like, this wouldn't be something that happens in, like, Welcome to Raccoon City! Did you know? While there's a home of pharmaceutical giant Umbrella Corporation, Raccoon City is a vibrant and dynamic city with a long, rich history of its own. In this guide, we'll introduce you to just a few of the more unusual points of interest our city has to offer. Raccoon City Police Station. The building in the center of the town wasn't always a police station. In fact, it used to be an art museum. Various features like the unusual clock tower and goddess statue in the main hall rise of a bygone era. Please kill me! Orphanage. Just a few blocks over the police station is an orphanage founded by run by Umbrella Corporation, with help of generous donations from businesses and citizens alike. The building is known for its stained glass window, which attracts the visitors from all around the world, and we harvest the orphan souls while we're here too. But it's all what? free range. What does the orphanage on a stained glass window? It's good. It's a really good question. <laughs> I also don't remember the password for this one, so we'll so we'll we'll have to find that. Normally as I'm playing, I would have, like, a thing next to me. Just telling me, because I've done it before multiple times. Uh, that's a board up over here. This is where the, uh, key card. That's a hand. Uh, uh do I have the book on? Yeah, I have the book on. Me. Huh. Yes, this is where we hide the key to the shotgun. Ha ha! And the fist just ejects him. <laughs> he just punches you in the gut. Oh! <laughs> ah, ah. It's like irons. Irons was like, oh, this would get someone real good. <laughs> Fucking just, just take the jewel out, throw it over your shoulder. That does not appear to be an actual box. Just for the shot. Oh, there it is. Okay. Now we can take that to get, to get the shotgun. Edward the Black Prince. 
Also, that's that's not a pearl. That's a it's a ruby. First off, you call it a ruby, you call it a pearl, then you then you call it a diamond. No, I think those are three different things there, Cody. All right, now now we're gonna <laughs> now, now we're gonna go out and find our girlfriend. Just, just, hey, it's it's fucking a fortune. Keep going. <laughs> See, now, that's an actual reason as to why that would catch fire because there's sparks going on. Yeah. Claire, hold on. I'll be right there. Okay. See, like the 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 greatest thing about this is like they make the interactions between Claire and Leon like so fucking awkward. Claire, it's so nice to see you. How you doing? I mean, it doesn't get much more awkward than this 3D pixel Leon. <laughs> no, 3D pixel, but still. Unfortunately, no. But how are you doing? You know. Hey, you know. <laughs> like, this is like the weirdest, like, they're hitting on each other, right? Claire, don't lose gotta, gotta continue on the uh, Redfield bloodline. No Two. thanks, bro. <laughs> you know what that <laughs> You know what that means. Yeah. Uh, I know. I know. I'm flirting with you right now, but in like an hour or so, I have to be flirting with an Asian man. It's all I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna cast the yellow fever. Whoa! <laughs> cast the yellow fever. What good? All right. Yeah, you need to go now. That's an appropriate good. Okay. Let's get through this. Both of us. I don't think this is time for that. <laughs> His hands were clipping through the gate. Man, got uh, Marvin, <laughs> he has like meaty claws. I'm Marvin, 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 you copy. Marvin, Marvin. I can't do the thing until I'm done talking to you. <laughs> Come and walk by them, snap it, dude. Kick, <laughs> kick, <laughs> kick the door in. There's a flash grenade. The fuse should be right here. Uh, also, don't remember. What's the crank? Hmm. Yeah. Fuck it. I can't even use it. Oh, whatever. That was amazing. Son of a bitch. Hey, dude. I like how he tilted that chair back without any of that stuff going after me. Look, he was like, someone stacks it up real nice. <laughs> real nice to make sure it is. Like, nope. <laughs> and now later, there will be zombies inside of the lobby. I gotta pick those up. <laughs> 